Hey, hi there, Cancer. Welcome to your November 2020 weekly Psychic Tarot Card Prediction. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. These are general and not personal readings. And you can find more information down below, as well as a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box. It can help you out with these kind of readings. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Really good, Cancer. The Ace of Pentacles. It's like a mini sun in your reading. This is the root of Earth energy, divine influence, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a gateway card. It's a new beginning, a healthy new beginning, a gift from the universe. It's prosperity and gain, pleasure and beauty. This is a seed to be nurtured. It's new success. It's an opportunity, the beginning of a new project, a birth, a chance to improve your health, your vitality. It's a gift you can use to invest in future gain. This can be a new job opportunity, a new beginning in a financial situation, a new contract. It's beginning to build the foundation for the future. And if you spend time in nature, you'll find fresh inspiration. Do not overlook this gift. It needs to be nurtured to come to fruition. You're about to experience some great accomplishment. Money can be found to begin a new enterprise. It's a positive reward for hard work. A lump sum of money or a gift. It can also be a worldly status and achievement. And remembering to ground yourself through proper nutrition, exercise, and rest and leisure activities. In love, this is a fresh start. Could be through work or business. You'll feel blessed and secure in this relationship. It brings in a grounding influence. It's being practical and productive and prosperous. It's breaking new ground. It's creating value. Second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Eight of Cups, Cancer. Now this is Saturn and Pisces. It's leaving in an emotional situation because something is missing. This could be someone that's losing all hope in a romance and they're about to walk away can also mean that there could be an affectionate person surrounding you. This is a shift in someone's life. It's from being involved in doing things with others, and now you need some quiet and a chance to be alone. It's following your dream. Someone turns their back on those eight, eight neatly stacked cups, and they head towards higher ground. You can see the care in which he collected and placed those cups shows his previous concern, but now he's abandoning them totally. The moon in both its full and waning quarters looks on. It signifies the end of something and the beginning of something new. It indicates leaving the past behind. It's okay to start searching, but be aware of the card's warning about the kind of restlessness that strides on too hastily, missing the very goal, the cups. This is an emotional turning point. It's going with the flow. And following the flow of energy not only takes the least effort, but it also achieves the best results. You know what you want, and you won't settle for anything less. And there is a better future just around the corner. The Ace of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups is potential for a new emotional opportunity. It's being on the correct path to solve a problem. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Number 16 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Tower. This can represent an Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. It could be in your chart. This fire element is a sudden shock. It may have happened quickly. There's a dramatic change, could be a conflict, or an overthrow of an existing way of life. It was a disruption, and it will bring enlightenment. 
some sort of upheaval, it can be violent or destructive, and it releases pent-up emotions and then brings liberation. It's finding spiritual opportunity within drama. This can be a surprise and a rapid transformation. It's action and release and shaking things up. It can be a shocking revelation, a very swift and dramatic change. It's a big change that you have to deal with. It could be questioning beliefs. There's unseen forces at work here. Those are yods hanging in the air, which is a divine influence, something that you couldn't, you could, uh, you could not prevent it. This is being emotionally shaken, shocked out of complacency, stripped of defenses, suddenly exposed or enlightened. It's releasing pent up emotions and feeling liberated. It's shaking things up because you'll need to let it crumble and let the light in. You may not believe that what is happening is for the best because it might be an extremely upsetting change. You'll need to rebuild and refocus. This is a new era. It's a wake-up call to be cautious. These can be ambitious goals that were made with false premises. It's a massive change with false understandings, and your soul is going to evolve. The Ace of Pentacles with the Tower card is doorways open to new priorities. This can also be an unexpected cash flow. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. The Two of Pentacles, Cancer, Earth Energy, Jupiter in Capricorn. Jupiter brings in changes, has to do with our luck, our fate, our chance, our evolution, how we evolve. This is multitasking, juggling, the card of I build. It's trying to balance resources, priorities. It's the ability to juggle two situations at one time and achieve success. It's harmony in the midst of change and good fortune and enjoyment. It can be a message coming about money, but better times do lie ahead. It's adapting to changes with nimble movement and being adaptable, playful. It's dealing with a lot, but with ease, and there is a need to be flexible. It's going with the flow by handling the ups and downs of life, and your concentration is required. Maybe you need to follow the money, or you might need to travel or move house to take advantage of material opportunities. This is a shift in life's focus. Being incredibly busy, this can be two situations. It's managing your life with grace. This is a change in financial matters. It's establishing the pros and cons of the situation. And there's harmony with the change and being flexible enough to keep everything moving. A change in money situation is favorable, and it's keeping your good sense of humor. The Ace of Pentacles with the Two of Pentacles is could be uh, investing, juggling money. It's a new kind of bartering. It could even be turning a hobby into income. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others. Yet you are consciously aware of this. Three of Pentacles, Cancer, Capricorn Energies, Earth Energy. This is a card of teamwork, synergy, employment. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two, and the Three of Pentacles. There is a progression that's happening here. This is support from teamwork. It's Mars and Capricorn. These are people that are coming together to make something happen. This brings in a lucky omen. It's a partnership card, building something together. It's being in the early stages of progress, and now a project is beginning manifestation, and it's using your knowledge to turn a profit. It's rethinking your efforts to see if they match up with your long-term goals. It's assistance and contribution and teamwork, guidance, planning, mentors, critics, customers, clients. It's okay to take critics as teachers. They are really helping you grow. Priorities are being established and plans are being into action. 
and there's initial successes here. It's being cooperative and inspired by a skilled team effort. It's discussing practical solutions. This could be a specialist. A plan is coming together and it's recognition for work well done. It's skilled labor, there's a payback period, and reaping rewards. And remember that you bring light into the darkness. The Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles multitasking at work. It can be multiple projects, a fun team. The Eight of Cups with the Tower card is a necessary conflict to have individuality. It's a shifting of old patterns. The Eight of Cups with the Two of Pentacles is seeking more job satisfaction, even if it means less money. The Eight of Cups with the Three of Pentacles is following your passion at work. It's going after new work that brings emotional fulfillment. The Tower with the Two of Pentacles is a huge surprise about stability. It's change, unexpected, it's faded. It's an unexpected emotional ups and downs. It's shaking up your priorities. The Tower with the Three of Pentacles is difficulties at work. It's rebuilding your life with skill and finesse. It's making change to plans and preparing, or there may be a loss. The Two of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles is multiple projects. It's multitasking at work. This can represent a fun team. Here's your card from the Vice Versa Tarot Deck by Lunia Weatherstone. Number zero of the Major Arcana, the Fool. This card is linked to Uranus, which is the ruler for Aquarius. So this could be an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. The Fool. This side. A blind youth stands at the edge of a precipice at sunset. Though the situation seems perilous, his attitude is serene, not because his eyes cannot see the danger, but because his inner sight tells him that all will be well. The country from whence he came is arid and mountainous, and yet he made it this far alone. Foolhardiness is the boldness to do what appears to be foolish. It springs from innocent trust in the inherent goodness of the world. The fool travels light, and the small chaff satchel contains only what he holds most precious. Some say that it holds a collective knowledge of the universal memory. When you get this side in a reading, rather than doing what seems reasonable, logical, or safe, the fool epitomizes the ideal of taking a leap of faith. Though success is the ideal outcome, it's the leap itself that matters most. The fool goes from experience to experience in a serendipitous way. Every turn along his path adds to his wisdom. Choose to be bold and foolish if you want to make progress on your own path. The uh, Eight of Cups is also following his path. Here's your Lover's Oracle card from Tony Carmine Slurino. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Wow, very synchronistic reading here, Cancer, all this path stuff. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.